Today, West Virginia State Auditor J.B. McCuskey announcing his candidacy for governor. Yeah, Eyewitness News anchor Daniel Burbank joins us in studio tonight, where the race continues to get more crowded. Daniel? Dave, Gina, nine candidates say they're the right person for the job as West Virginia's next governor. Now, Jim Justice cannot serve as governor in 2024 because of term limits. Today, J.B. McCuskey is adding his name to the list. West Virginia State Auditor J.B. McCuskey is making a run for West Virginia governor. The small group of people who run Charleston and our state have too often failed us. The Secretary of State's office shows eight active campaigns. McCuskey is serving his second term as the state auditor, adding his office made West Virginia the most transparent government in the nation. Transparency is only important if it leads to accountability. Every single elected official in West Virginia puts their name on the line to work for the people of West Virginia. We are their employees. Others putting their names on the line for 2024, Moore Capito, a state delegate and son of Senator Shelley Moore Capito. Chris Miller, a businessman and son of U.S. Representative Kara Miller. Secretary of State Mac Warner and preschool owner Rashida Yost. According to the Secretary of State's website, Alexander David Gosrid raised less than $900 and is the first candidate to terminate their campaign. No one has publicly come forward on the Democratic ticket, but Huntington Mayor Steve Williams told Eyewitness News last month he's having an active conversation about running. I've worked with Democratic administrations. I've worked with Republican administrations. For now, it's too early to tell who will be a West Virginia favorite. Candidates have until next January to officially file paperwork for the 2024 election. Live in the studio, Daniel Burbank, Eyewitness News.